All right, it's a couple minutes after four. And uh, since this session was rescheduled from last week with all the snow, um, it may be that, uh, that folks had other things that they were doing at this time and folks that signed up uh, maybe weren't able to, uh, to make it. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, proceed as though uh, there were people on the, on the Zoom and I am recording this, so I will send it, uh, I'll send it out to all those uh, students who had indicated that they were interested in exercise science. So my name is uh, Dr. Phil Anton, and I am the undergraduate exercise science program director here at Southern Illinois University Carbondale. I'm also the director of the Strong Survivors program, and Strong Survivors is a very unique opportunity for students uh, to be able to put into practice what they're learning in the classroom as well as gain great professional experience and have a personal experience that is really second to uh, second to none. So the first thing I want to do is I want to show you guys a little video um, about uh, exercise science and I'm going to follow that up with a very general video about uh, the Strong Survivors program which was actually recorded about five years ago um, by Saluki Video Services. So it's a little bit dated. Um, we've actually been running the program now for 15 years rather than 10 as it states in the, uh, in the uh, video. But the information that's in there is still, uh, is still good and it gives you, it will give you an idea of what the program is all about, kind of how, uh, how it works. And then the last thing I'll, I'll show you video wise will be um, a video on Josh Pot, uh, Podzelinski who was a strong survivor staff member here a couple of years ago. He was also a member of the Saluki football team as an offensive lineman. And uh, he, was, uh, um, he was able uh, to, to handle both doing uh, 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 classroom student duties as well as being on the football team and being a strong survivor staff member. And News 3, the local ABC channel here, um, did a feature on him uh, preceding the blackout cancer game um, because of the cancer connection with uh, 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 strong survivors. So I thought that would be a valuable thing to, uh, to show you. And we've had lots of uh, Saluki athletes who have been strong survivor staff members, and we have had many other, uh, um, other students who have had very, very busy schedules, but they found a way to, uh, to make strong survivors work because it was something that they really wanted to do. Um, and it was something that they um, uh, wanted from a resume building standpoint, but also from a, a standpoint of being able to serve their community. And many of them have a connection to cancer via a friend or family member who uh, has, uh, has, has fought cancer or did, did fight cancer in the past. So um, anyway, that, uh, um, after that, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll give you a, a few uh, um, final, uh, final words. And, uh, and then that'll be, uh, that'll be it. So I will go ahead and share my screen here, get to my internet. All right. Okay. This is, um, a video that was actually just made not too, uh, uh, uh long ago by, uh, Saluki, uh, um, communications and marketing. They came over and did a little filming. So it's basically a tour of, uh, of Davies Hall and all of the opportunities that you would get as an exercise science major here at SIU. And unfortunately, I'm the one that leads the tour. So you have to listen to me talk a little bit more within the context of the video. So here we go. <laughs> My name is Dr. Phil Anton and I am a professor and program director for exercise science here at SIU. I'm super excited that you're along for the ride as we take a tour of our facilities here at Davies Hall. As you may know, exercise science is known as the launch pad major. It can propel you into a wide variety of careers like physical therapy, occupational therapy, personal training, strength and conditioning coaching, cardiac and pulmonary rehab, athletic training, and chiropractic, as well as many other areas of medicine. Our students gain valuable hands-on experience working in our laboratories, as well as our many unique service projects. These experiences help enhance their personal and professional skills and bolster their resumes. 
which helps put them in a position to be very competitive when it comes to hunting for jobs, as well as slots in graduate and professional schools. In our exercise physiology lab, students have the opportunity to work with top-of-the-line health and fitness evaluation equipment, like our Quitten EKG system and our Parvomedics metabolic cart. In the cardiovascular control lab, we learn all about the control of blood flow through devices like the lower body negative pressure system. In the social psychology of sport lab, you learn about the psychological side of sport, like how emotions affect performance and the motivational factors that lead to consistent exercise. One of the great aspects of the program is the unique hands-on opportunities that will help us get jobs or get into graduate school. Exercise science can launch you into many different careers. Strong Survivor students, staff members use exercise as a therapeutic tool to help cancer survivors and their caregivers get through the treatment and recovery process. The faculty find ways to make learning fun. The exercise science program is kind of my home away from home. I love the opportunities that the program provides to serve my community. Well, the faculty are very understanding and supportive of issues we're dealing with. And that's really what I love about SIU. All right, that's the end of the tour. Thanks for your attention. We hope you learned a lot. If you want more information on exercise science and all it has to offer, please visit our websites. To apply to SIU, go to siu.edu and find Apply Now. All right, and like I said, this second video is a uh, more of a general video about Strong Survivors and how it works. And like I said, this is the one that was from five, five years ago. All the information in there is good, except for it's a little bit dated as far as um, the number of years we've been running the program. So hopefully this one is, in, is informative as well. Well, Strong Survivors, um, as I stated, uh, is a, a program where we use exercise as a therapeutic tool to help cancer survivors and caregivers get through their treatment and recovery period. The Strong Survivors program was started 10 years ago by Dr. Phil Anton with the help of Southern Illinois Healthcare. According to SIH spokesman Woody Thorne, the partnership was a no-brainer. It's just a great chance for SIH and for SIU to be working closely together to benefit uh, a region that really needs us to work collaboratively together, and it's a great win for, for the region of Southern Illinois. While SIH has been instrumental in the Strong Survivor's success, Dr. Anton knows there is another group who has played a huge role. Without having students who are volunteering their time, who are, uh, who are volunteering their talent, their enthusiasm, their dedication to the uh, program, Strong Survivors would not be what it is today. Volunteer students work one-on-one -on -one with cancer survivors to develop and oversee exercise programs that fits each individual. According to staff member Cody Yarnell, it's building relationships through this that makes the Strong Survivors experience that much more rewarding. I'd say the talks, you know, talking about our lives together, helping each other with decisions or something as simple as where to eat this weekend, you know, just building that friendship more than a patient-client relationship has influenced my staying in this program. According to survivor Michelle Parker-Clark, it's those relationships that push her to work even harder. We have a group um, that we participate with initially and then even if we branch off and work with an individual trainer, that that's someone that they have committed their time uh, to work with me and uh, makes me feel a bit of an obligation where I want to, um, I don't want to let that person down and um, I know it's a relationship that we've built that, that we just work together and, and um, for a common goal. It's not just the camaraderie that keeps participants coming back. According to survivor John Longville, Strong Survivors provides much, much more. I go to Strong Survivors twice a week. I tell my wife I'm going to Strong Survivors, and I smile almost every time. The camaraderie, the education, 
and the organized exercise has done me uh, great, great things. Fellow survivor Dr. Phil Howes says for him, it was always about getting back on his feet. When you're in a program like this that allows you to get moving and keep moving, plus there are coaches who will help you to move the right way, it's a definite plus. Win-win all the way. For Strong Survivors founder, Dr. Phil Anton, it's always been about improving lives. They have the opportunity to, uh, to get help that will, uh, that will assist them in fighting off a lot of the nasty side effects and help them to maintain and in some cases even improve the, uh, their uh, quality of life and uh, allow them to have that, uh, allow them to maintain that quality of life um, during and after their, their treatment period. Those interested in participating in the Strong Survivors program are urged to contact Dr. Phil Anton. For SIU, I'm Shane Gibbons. All right, so as you can see, uh, five years ago, I didn't have glasses, I didn't have facial hair, so I've added that to my uh, repertoire as well. So, all right, um, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, and show the, the video on Josh Pod, uh, Podzelinski. He's actually in physical therapy school right now, so for those of you who are interested in that, he, uh, he was able to get to physical therapy school um, uh, coming out of SIU, and there's a lot of our uh, our students that are going that uh, that particular route, and uh, um, we'll talk a little bit more about that once the video is done. On the field, Josh Podjolinski battles each game, blocking opponents to help protect his backs. Off the field, he's helping in a much greater fight. Anything hurting anybody since we've been? Podjolinski is a student staff member with the Strong Survivors program. Shoulders down, good. And pinch them back, good. good. And one more. Ten, good. Okay, we'll relax. Put those down for a second, shake it out. <laughs> you know, we work with cancer survivors, uh, the spouses or husbands of the cancer survivors, and the relationships we build there are just awesome. Dennis is on a second set, looking good. Control the band, slow it down a little bit, good. We go for about 45 minute workout, and it just includes resistant training, aerobic exercises and everything, flexibility and balance, all helps them recover in their process. 10 seconds, good, breathe, good. The goal of the Strong Survivors program is to use exercise as a therapeutic tool, helping cancer survivors and caregivers with the recovery process. Oh my gosh, I, I just feel like I can do anything now, really. I mean, um, it, this really kick-started me into doing other things too, like getting out and walking more. This keeps you motivated to keep kind of working and helps your attitude, at least for us, that was a big benefit of the program. Judy Martinko is a breast cancer survivor, and Dennis Smith is a caregiver to his wife, who has also battled breast cancer. Both patients work with Podjolinski and say the Saluki guard has helped them immensely. Josh was my second trainer, and um, uh, I mean, the, I, I can only speak for the ones I've had, but particularly Josh. He's very encouraging. Uh, they, I don't think they realize how important they are to us. This really, really helped me a lot, and especially Josh, because he, you know, he's, he doesn't really nag at you, but he makes you do everything correctly. And I think that's helped a lot. We'll hold it for a good 10 seconds. Make sure we're breathing. Good. And Podjolinski says he's gotten just as much out of the program. You, you think they would come in with, you know, a lousy attitude and stuff. Absolutely not. They're awesome. They lift me up every day when I'm supposed to be the one lifting them up, you know. And we all look so nice with their t-shirts on. <laughs> Podjolinski plans on continuing with the Strong Survivor program until he graduates next December. Reporting in Carbondale, Maddie Sattler, News 3 Sports. All right, a couple of things. One is uh, you'll notice uh, in the uh, those last two videos that uh, there are no masks, there are no, there's no social distancing because uh, both of those were filmed prior to the uh, start of the pandemic. So that's something we've had to adjust to. And you saw a, a little bit of, uh, of that in that first, uh, first uh, video. And then also the... Uh, those two videos, the last two, were filmed in our old cancer rehab lab, which was an old locker room that had been con converted into usable lab space. And uh, now we have a, not a brand new facility, but a, but a totally refurbished uh, 
facility in a different room here in uh, on, uh, Davies Hall that uh, is ours alone because we were sharing that uh, that space before with biomechanics and uh, motor behavior and now we have uh, the uh, Julie A. Honer Camp Strong Survivors Cancer Rehabilitation Lab is its own space. We got our own office and we uh, we kind of spruce the place up a little bit as you can see from the uh, from the video we got a nice uh, blue color on the wall instead of the industrial uh, gray that's in the other uh, other uh, uh, lab uh, lab area so it uh, has worked out really really well for us and everything that we do is funded by uh, donations from the community family friends etc um, and everything that we do with our participants is free and the only way that that works is because we have students that are volunteering their time, they're volunteering their talent, they're vo volunteering their compassion to uh, to work with the uh, work with the participants, and you know it's it's a win win for everybody because the the participants get uh, one on one personal training. I get great uh, uh, research data um, from from the uh, uh, sessions that that we have and then the students get that very valuable personal and professional experience they get a nice resume build because this is really a unique program the only only other program that's like it in the country is University of Northern Colorado Northern Colorado cancer rehab and that's actually where I got my PhD degree and I learned all about the art and science of cancer rehab um, at that uh, at that facility and uh, it uh, was uh, a great experience for me out there and I was able to bring that model, that student run model, because I'd basically just serve as the CEO of the program, so to speak, doing most of the training, most of the scheduling, that type of thing. And, but it's the students that uh, go through the staff training class that are, uh, are really working and uh, doing the lion's share of the work with the, uh, with the participants of, of the uh, program and really making the quality of life differences that we see with our uh, participants. So if that's something that's of interest to you, whether you're exercise science or you're a different major at SIU, doesn't matter. Anybody can take the staff training class, Kinesiology 402, and you can take it in whatever semester you want, freshman all the way through se senior year, master students, PhD students. We've had students from all levels um, take that, uh, that class and all majors, you know, people from criminal justice and from, uh, uh, from art, from, from music, from the other sciences. So it's all over the place and a lot of people just want to get that uh, experience and have something again on their resume that they can really talk about in job interviews uh, situations and interviews for graduate or professional schools as it really does help to, uh, to set, them, uh, set them apart. As you can see uh, from that exercise science video, Strong Survivors is just one of the areas that you could potentially find yourself working in as an exercise science student and lots of different ways that you can apply what you're learning in the classroom and gain valuable experience, boost your resume, all of those, uh, all of those things. And uh, we really find that uh, our students appreciate the fact that there's a lot of flexibility in the exercise science major because you can take it in so many different directions. I mean, if this was 20 or 30 years ago, you'd be going into more of the traditional fields of corporate fitness or personal training, strength and conditioning coaching, maybe, uh, maybe cardiac rehab. Um, but now uh, th those careers are obviously fantastic and we have lots of our students that go on to great levels of success doing those, those, those things. But uh, we've got more options now where students can go into physical therapy, occupational therapy, chiropractic uh, programs, athletic training, other areas of medicine. Um, it just, you know, the sky's kind of the limit with exercise science. And that's nice because you don't have to necessarily decide exactly what you're going to do. When you're a freshman, you can just be an exercise science major. And then as you begin to take, uh, take classes, kind of get a better idea of, of what's going to work for you as a uh, as a uh, as a professional career, um, and exercise science really helps uh, help set set you up for that. All right, um, I did include my contact in information in the chat for the uh, for the the uh, Zoom, but I don't not sure you'll be able to access that. So when I send this to you guys via email, um, I'll include all that all that information uh, in there 
uh, so that you'll have it and be able to uh, be able to access that as you want. So if you uh, have any questions, please feel free to uh, send a, an email or a phone call my way. And uh, I don't know all the answers here at SIU, but I've been here long enough that uh, if I don't know the answer, I usually know someone that does know the answer. So please take advantage of the resources, ask the questions that you need to ask, and uh, we'll uh, we'll get you the answers that you uh, that, that you're hopefully wanting to uh, wanting to hear, and get you the information that you need to make the decision that you uh, um, that you want to make uh, or that you need to make about. Uh, whether or not you're gonna you're gonna go on for a college degree. So I went through the process three times, uh, undergrad, masters, and then PhD. And each time it was an overwhelming experience. And because uh, there's so many different schools to uh, look at and consider, um, and it was always helpful to have someone at that uh, at those particular schools who I could ask questions of. And uh, I can definitely be that person for you for uh, exercise science. So don't be afraid to give me a jingle or send me an email. All right, we'll, uh, we'll talk to you guys later and uh, hopefully uh, we'll see some of you on campus as exercise science majors at some point in the future. Thanks a lot. Thanks for your attention and we'll, we'll see you.